chapter tonight in a decades long saga in Metro Atlanta. We're talking about the cityhood movement and on election day, voters who live in Mableton and nearby, they're going to test the latest and decide whether they want to create their own incorporated city. You may remember back in May, voters overwhelmingly denied three different Cobb County cityhood referendums, East Cobb, Lost Mountain, Binings. They all got rejected and it came as a bit of a surprise after some very passionate campaigning. But there is a real chance that Mableton's cityhood movement could succeed where the others didn't. Atlanta News first reporter Rachel Aragon is live there to explain why. Rachel. Rick, well, Mableton right now, as you might know, an area of about 40,000 people. But come a few months later, if voters vote yes, it could grow to a city of about 78,000 residents. Some people say if voters vote yes, it means more tax dollars staying right here in this community. Others saying if they vote yes, it means additional taxes. Make Mableton a city or leave it be. I voted yes for it. Still undecided, yeah. You're going to pay the county taxes. Then you're going to pay a city tax. Residents of unincorporated Cobb County are split on this question that will pop up on the November ballot. If approved, the county will continue to provide services such as fire and police. Based on the feasibility study, the proposed city of Mableton is looking to take on uh, certain services. Services like planning, zoning, code enforcement, sanitation, and parks and rec. I think. Mableton might need a little sprucing up, so fingers crossed. Local oversight is why some voters are for it. I hope if cityhood comes about, the services and amenities might improve. The proposed city boundaries include all of Mableton and include unincorporated parts of Estelle and Smyrna, where Deidre White lives. But if they want to do a city, do it, but just do it in Mapleton. White is a member of the Preserve South Cobb group. She says those outside of Mapleton shouldn't be grouped into the proposed city boundaries. I'm voting no because I don't want higher taxes and I don't want any um, additional fees. Whoever may, you know, um, run the city and that will be purely up to them. Commissioners say the county has no control over city taxes and fees, but added neighboring cities do pay a separate city tax. There is a county tax that's paid by the residents of Smyrna and also a city tax paid by those that live within the, the proper limits of Smyrna. And the head of the Mabel 10 Yes campaign sent to us in an email, quote, voting yes means the same taxes, better service, local control, and a better quality of life. Again, we heard from people from all different sides. And I guess we'll have to wait about a week and a half to see what plays out here in Mapleton. Pre-live in Mapleton, Rachel Aragon, Atlanta News First. Thank you.